What's up guys? For today's video, I'm fixing and replacing leaky rivets on the John boat. In the past, when I've worked on replacing rivets, I've used sealed end pop rivets, but because of the location of the rivets that I'm trying to repair this time, I wanted to try something a little bit different. So for the repairs today, I'm gonna to be using solid rivets instead. These work similarly to pop rivets, except instead of having a plunger that gets pulled out with a rivet tool, this actually gets flattened using an air hammer, which makes for a stronger and more solid waterproof seal. So in the previous videos, I've showed you that I'm missing a rivet right there, and when I was under there doing the bunks, I also noticed that there was a bunch of rivets in the area that were just loose. The first thing I'm gonna do is learn how to use an air hammer. My plan for that is to put a piece of aluminum into a vise and then put a couple rivets through it just so I can get a feel for how to do it before I tackle it on the boat. Once we're confident installing the solid rivets onto a practice aluminum sheet, I'm gonna get under the boat and just kind of feel around all the different rivets in the area to see which ones we need to work on. At that point, we're gonna install the new one, rebuck the loose ones, and then we'll be able to do a water test. All right, so as I was saying, the first thing I wanted to try and do was put a couple rivets into a test piece of aluminum. This will give us a pretty good feeling on how this is gonna work. Uh, this was my first attempt. I really flattened one out, probably more than I need to. This was my second attempt. This looks just like how they do on the boat. The one additional thing I'm gonna be doing is putting a little bit of sealant on the new rivets just in case there's any gaps whatsoever. That should make it a completely watertight seal. All right, so first thing I wanna do is add some sealant to the rivet. I'm using 3M5200. This is a permanent adhesive. Tap it up. Now I've tapped it in place. She's gonna go ahead and brace it. I'm gonna hook up the air hammer. I'm gonna give this a try. Okay, ready? How's it going? You good? Okay, keep going. On my end, it looks really sealed. It looks nice and flat. Does it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that wasn't too painful. Uh, she braced it from the one side. I hammered in from this side. I actually saw the sealant kind of squeeze out a little bit. So go ahead and wipe off the excess here. That looks clean. If it was painted, I don't think you could even tell the difference. Now I can see that while I'm under here, there's a couple rivets that could use a little help. So from the top side here, there's a rivet that we replaced. And then we also rebucked the next couple ones down that line as they all felt loose. And just one more note on using the air hammer, make sure you wear earplugs. This was incredibly loud and the ringing with the aluminum and the air hammer was piercing. I'm gonna go ahead and get this vacuumed out and then filled up with water. And then we'll do our water test and see what else we need to fix. All right, so I got the boat rinsed out as best I can. I'm gonna go ahead and back it back down the driveway so it's a little more flat. That way I don't need to fill it up with as much water to cover all the floor rivets. Uh, then once it's time to drain it, I'll break it back up. And so with the slope of the driveway, this is about as far as I wanna fill it up. It's starting to hit the bottom of this bench and there's foam there and I'm not trying to waterlog this foam because I'm not planning on taking this foam out. Although maybe I will, we'll see. So for now, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and I'm gonna get under the trailer, under the boat, look for anything leaking and mark it with a Sharpie. That way when I drain this and pull it back into the garage, I'll be able to know which ones to fix. All right, so we're under the trailer now and it's pretty easy to see which ones will need to be fixed. Something pretty cool, <laughs> that's the one I put in and these are the ones I fixed already and there's no leaks from those. So now we can see which ones are leaking all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark these off. That way we know what we need to fix and then get to fixing them. Unfortunately, almost every rivet is leaking and that's not really an exaggeration. Pretty much all the rivets along the center of the boat were leaking. The ones toward the sides weren't too bad, but the middle ones are pretty bad. My guess is that they overloaded the boat, probably with a deck that was too heavy, just, you know, wore out the rivets using it as much as they did. I didn't notice any damage under the boat as far as, uh, you know, hitting logs or anything like that, so that's good. I think that once we get this all tightened up, it's gonna be waterproof. All right, guys, I'm back out here the next day. We got about 90% of the rivets rebucked. The only ones we weren't able to do were the two rows that were covered up by the bunks. So for right now, what I'm gonna do is jack up the one side of the boat, get the bunk pulled off, and get it ready to continue rebucking the rivets. 
All right, guys, well, I didn't record pulling the bunks and doing the last couple rivets. It was pretty boring and not really worth showing you guys. But at this point, we have all of the rivets rebucked and replaced. Before we get into the final water test, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace rivets one additional way. So one of the things I removed from the boat when I first got it was an old transducer bracket and it left two transducer holes in the back of the boat. This is a very common thing you're gonna see if you're buying a used boat. Some pop rivets with sealant will actually work really well for this type of repair. And the reason why pop rivets work really well for this type of repair is because they're not load bearing in any way. When you're replacing rivets on the braces, those braces will flex and move with the, the boat. You know, if you hit a wave, you hit a log, you know, they're absorbing that impact. Now, I actually threw two pop rivets in there when I was filling up the boat because I forgot they were there and water was coming out of the back, so I just sealed them up real quick. But I'm gonna go ahead and drill them out and I'm gonna replace them with new rivets that have sealant on them to make this a more permanent repair. So for this repair, you only need a couple tools. Uh, number one is your drill with a 3 16th bit. It's gonna be the rivet side you wanna use. Some marine sealant, 5200's the way to go. And then some rivets. So first thing you wanna do is make sure your holes are cleaned up with no burrs on either side. Go ahead and just add some uh, sealant right on to the end of the rivet. Go ahead and put it in the rivet hole. Do that for both. So go ahead and seal it up with your rivet tool. Just kind of smooth it out. And use the acetone just to clean up the excess. Now this has made a completely watertight seal of the two holes that were there in the old bracket. Now you might notice the holes inside these rivets. That's okay because these are closed end rivets, which means the other side of the rivet is sealed. So water cannot get through the rivet. All right, so with the last holes in the boat sealed up, let's go ahead and take this out and do our water test. All right, so we got this filling up with water. I'm gonna let this get a good level. Just about an inch or so over the whole floor. And I'll get down under there and see if this is fixing any of our leaking rivets. Okay, so with significantly more water this time, probably more than I should have with the foam back there. So these rivets look good. Let's work down. These look good, 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 good. See some leakers in the middle. See, these used to leak, they've been fixed. That was not enough to fix it. All right, guys, well, I went ahead and got the boat pulled back into the garage. I went through and I hit the last couple's very small leaking rivets with the air hammer one more time. Um, I noticed that when I did that, a little bit of water squeezed out from behind the rivet cap. So I think we're finally waterproof on those last couple rivets. All right, well, with this boat being water ready, I plan on taking it out this weekend. If you guys want to follow along with the John Boat build and see how it does on the water, don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, drop me a like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. All right, thanks for watching.